नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स मैं राव सो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द फूड इन द फूड वी लुक्ड एट व्हाट आर द थिंग्स टू बी अवॉइडेड all the toxic foods uh, we said it is required to be avoided and then also we looked at eating uh, you know disorders what all we do so now we look at the what is the food how do we go about it all right and as i explained to you i am not a doctor people with health issues must consult their doctor before embarking on my advice fifth essential for good health is food we looked at it friends we have also seen in the last slide last presentation every human human being is unique so there are so many variants like uh, you know age sex genes metabolic health liver health gut health acidity level degree of insulin resistance what sort of habits environment social and economic condition so what happens is that one food doesn't fit to everybody some people will thrive on certain foods and some people will have some difficulty some sort of issues so it's necessary that they must pay attention and if there are issues you must take appropriately timely changes you must make changes understand friends 50% of your health depends on the six essentials we already looked at air water of course exercise we have not covered we will cover excretion rest and sleep mind management these are the uh, six uh, thing which will determine at least approximately 50% of your health the balance 50% is on on your food nutritious food it's not only food friends it is the fasting there are two aspects eating and non eating feasting and fasting this is what it is so let's look at it food is for the growth of the body and also it does repair and maintenance see what is the growth of the body stops at age 25 20 to 25 one needs less food let's understand this friends food is a building material basically right when a child is born he is hardly 2 kg or 3 kg and now people are almost 70 to 100 kg so this all happened because of the food so when the growth is uh, stops so there is no further growth in terms of height and uh, uh, total overall growth then you require less food only it is something like it uh, if i have to give a very uh, you know crude example when you are building a house initial stages you require lots of uh, sand bricks uh, iron cement and all that when the house is completely built you got it painted you have moved into the house you don't require so much of uh, you know quantity of uh, this building material now you require only maintenance and repair for that you require small quantities of probably things would be sufficient similarly for the human body also so what is the best to do after the age 25 if you are having less physical work most of the people 80 90% people have less of the physical work or there's no manual labor so eat only twice in a day when you are hungry and nothing in between two meals except water and maintain the same timings this is what it is friends so you decide two times eating and that too when you are hungry decide the timings and all two meals and in between nothing except water right friends now in between two meals you should not take anything else anything other than what is food so you have to strictly avoid it now no no look at the timing what timing you should have food what type of food you have what is the quantity you should have is entirely depend on your hunger your convenience and choice it's a very flexible approach right so all that i'm suggesting is may have a homemade food and then eat when you are hungry eat only twice these are the only fundamentals you should keep in mind now what do you need to do you have to avoid or reduce inflammatory foods like processed packaged animal based dairy and stimulants like coffee tea and etc see animal based up friends i would suggest curd is okay curd you can consume ghee you can consume apart from that don't go for this pasteurized milk and butter <coughs> now this is another important aspect you should keep in mind about the water friends don't drink water 20 minutes before eating food while eating and until 2 hours after eating food very very essential so that your digestion process happens effectively now we have already looked at it uh, when we talked about water and bowel movement 
we have already consumed immediately after wake up one liter followed by the uh, bowel movement and uh, one hour exercise walking etc and then after about one two one and a half hour to two hours later you have drank once again one liter water and you have finished the second bowel movement then now the balance one to two liters water you can have in between two meals and this to be not taken at one go friends unlike in the morning only morning you are consuming this bulk water at one time to facilitate the you know bowel movement otherwise this one to two liters water depending on the weather that your comfort levels you can consume in installments say for example you finish your meals at 12 o'clock so two o'clock you have a glass of water maybe 250 ml and then after half an hour another 250 like that one hour you decide on it and finish your uh, uh, complete water of one to two liters at least 20 minutes before your second meal right if one is keen to prevent or cure lifestyle disorders what are the lifestyle disorders friends fatty liver obesity diabetes high blood pressure pcos cvd right friends if you want if you're keen you have a good health and now what do we do so here when in the initial stages what i said to have two times cooked meal your choice quantity your choice right timing is your choice right a type of food is your choice now, if you are keen, now what do we do? You take a vegetable juice at 11 o'clock. That means after your two bowel movements, you take nothing until 12, 12 o'clock, 11 o'clock, sir. And at 11 o'clock, you have a vegetable juice. I will make another video how to make vegetable juice. And at 12 o'clock, you can either have hot cooked meal or you can have a natural meal, your choice, depending on your convenience. You can have, the best thing is, food is cooked in the morning so that you can have a hot cooked meal take second uncooked meal before 7 pm that is before the sunset that way you are going to have every day 16 hours fasting every day phase. so what you should have like sprouts moondal soaked groundnuts almonds flax seeds sunflower seeds pumpkin seeds watermelon seeds fresh coconut dates nuts like walnut and local fruits, whatever is available, seasonal local fruits you can have, friends. Now, here it's not necessary, all of them you could have. We have given the broad choices. You can have coconut, your choice. So once you finish the sprouts and uh, soap nuts and all, you can fill it up your stomach with full fruits, local I mean, seasonal fruits. Friends, when you're eating two times, there is no dieting at all. You must eat your satisfaction to your complete, uh, you know, fill up your belly, your comfort levels. Now, what happens with this uh, approach, friends? This approach will improve your insulin sensitivity. We discussed about insulin uh, resistance. Insulin sensitivity is the key for your longevity and immunity. And that in turn causes hormonal balance, thus creating right conditions for good health. So this is what it is, friends. Now, let's look at what all the, you know, you can have the choice of uh, uncooked food, natural food. These are the sprouts. You can have moong dal and you have uh, pomegranate seeds. These are uh, soaked ground nuts, soaked badam. This is the ground nut. These are some dates. These are some dry fruits. You have some uh, local fruit like papaya. Here you can have pineapple. You have you have dates, raw ground dates, ripe dates, coconut, banana. And then the sprouts again here. So this is what you can have. Right. So there are various choices also. Right? You can also have this, this is the mango. Look at this, but very, very tempting and very filling. And this will be full of nutrients, amino acids, and all nutrients. Right? So this is what you need to do. This is what I wanted to share, friends. Uh, I'm sure you have an idea how to go, go about the food part of it. So there are lots of confusion about uh, carbohydrates and then ketogenic diet and the more of less of, uh, you know, uh, your fat, all those things. Just keep them aside. You don't require so much of uh, high tech in terms of understanding. Eating twice, homemade food, food, food it is all right. If somebody is keen to overcome their health problem, they want to get rid of diabetes or obesity and all that. One time on food is good, friends. So make an attempt. Try this for a few days. See how your body is behaving. If there are any issues, you can always call on my number. I can guide you on that. And I'm sure this will benefit. 
knowledge and discipline are the gateways to your health friends i'm sure you'll benefit from it thank you very much for listening and new comers can look at all the videos in my youtube channel and i'm sure you will subscribe and share to your friends thank you very much